And so it begins. My apprentice's finest hour. If only I had been there. I could have prevented it all. the beginning of your story. If we can find you a beginning, you'll know where to go from there. <laughs> you have no idea how lucky you were to cross my path. I know a lot about stories. I hope you aren't just here to steal one of mine. You aren't, are you? All right, to find your beginning, we must look for something that feels like once upon a time. Follow me. There you are. Now we just have to find your beginning. Even if you lose yourself, beginnings can be found anywhere. And only those who start can find their way. And you will recognize it. A beginning smells like the air in spring and the hope for more. A beginning is... I think you already know. Endings, on the other hand. Well, we can worry about those later. Do you understand? Really? It's been a long time since I've met someone with such a keen intellect. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear something? The fog must be playing tricks on my imagination. <sighs> it's gotten cold, don't you think? Follow me. you stumbled upon me. I don't think you would have found your beginning all by yourself. You look familiar somehow. I'm sure we shall meet again, unless the fog thickens more. I can't see the hand in front of my face already. Strange fellow. He reminds me of a character in one of my old tales. I hope he finds his way. Not even I could say where he'll end up if he doesn't, or when, even. So, let's help his beginning along a bit. Ah, this beginning rhymes. I must note it down right away. After a long summer day in a place not far away, Jeremiah Hazelnut was tucked in bed to dream of the dream that he always had. Each night to his mother, Jerry did say, 
I want to be a magician one day. And each night she would reply, as mothers do. One day, sweet son, your dream will come true. And as mothers do, she whispers, Good night. Soon Jeremiah Hazelnut would sleep tight. And so... Jerry! Jerry! Uh, uh, yeah? What do you want, um? Wake up, sleepyhead! Oh, oh no! I, I, am I going to be late for school? Come outside and enjoy the sunshine! You don't want to sleep away your whole summer vacation, do you? Summer vacation? Jerry, school starts the day after tomorrow! You don't have to worry about your things until then. I still have two days before school starts. I've still two whole days of adventure left. Ha-ha! <laughs> like we do every day with our morning calisthenics. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. What on earth is this? Usually it's the top 40 playing all day long. The Crows must have overdone it yesterday. There's not a single one in the sky this morning. What a beautiful day. Crows? But don't just sit there and rust, or you'll just make it easier for them tomorrow. Okay, follow my lead. If you don't want to listen to our program, then go ahead and start your day any way you like. Imagine a small X floating in the air. You can click on it to drop out at any time. Wow. When he says it like that, I can practically see the X floating in front of me. But why would you want to drop out? What? You think you already know everything? Duh. Smart, Alec. Touch the radio. Imagine a mouse pointer. Move it to the radio and then click with the left mouse button. Good job. Well done. <laughs> Child's play. You can tackle anything just like that. Looking, talking, using, running around. Just click on it. One click. Everything is just one click. Yeah, yeah. Is this a sales presentation or what? Now, let's try it again. This time, talk to the radio. Yes, that thing where the voice comes from. Talk to the radio? Once again, just click on it. Um, I'd like to say hi to my mother. Young Mr. Hazelnut would like to say hi to his mother. You did very well. Thanks, but how? One click. Everything is just one click. Did you notice how your muscles and sinews stretch when you click on something? Doesn't that feel good? He's right. I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. You're probably thinking, I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. Man, he's good. And you know what? What? You can. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. And on we go. Some things can be looked at and picked up. That's good for the back. So keep looking at things and picking them up. Now find yourself an object to look at. Hmm. How about that basket on the windowsill? You already found something to pick up? Go ahead then. That's the way. That's good for the back. You are now carrying the basket. You open the inventory by scrolling down with the mouse wheel, or by pressing the I key. Man, oh man! Now, let's try it again. Have a peek in your inventory. Doesn't that feel good? Your inventory. You can carry a lot more around in here than you'd think. And carrying objects around is healthy. You can also look at them. To do that, 
Click on them with the right mouse button. Ah, nice basket. Hey, looking with the right mouse button works really well. Looking with the right mouse button works really well, doesn't it? Absolutely. And now we'll try the left mouse button. Use the left mouse button to take items out of your inventory. Left click on the basket. Oops, the handle fell off. That isn't supposed to happen. Normally, you would just pick the basket back up. But don't panic. Remember, there are no problems, only challenges. You're bound to repair that basket in no time, for sure. Use the left mouse button to select items in your inventory. That will allow you to use them with other items in your inventory. Use one of the items with another one. That will get your circulation going. There! That wasn't so hard. True. It was easy. And do you notice how your pulse is calming? Feels good to repair something you broke, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And now for the next step. You can also use items with your environment. Left click on the basket and then carry it out of your inventory by moving it past the inventory's edge. Or by pressing the I key. Or scroll up with the mouse wheel. That's not what we were going to do now. Hope you didn't pull a muscle. Just open your inventory again. Left click on the basket and then carry it out of your inventory by moving it past the inventory's edge. Very good. Try showing the basket to a beloved family member. Hmm. Who should I show the basket to? I think your mother is hanging up the laundry in the meadow in front of the house. Man, he's good. Wow. It's as if he's talking to me. Use your basket with your mother by moving the basket to her and clicking the left mouse button. Oh, Jerry, as you've got the basket. Yeah, and I didn't break it at all. That's fantastic. Could you go and pick some blackberries for me? For? For blackberry pie. Of course. Oh, boy. Pick blackberries, check. Congratulations! You've completed your fitness program for today. And remember, a simple leg cramp could cost you your life when you're fleeing from a wild crow. Huh? What's he talking about? Stay fit, stay cheerful. Mousewood Radio now continues with the Leaf Fall Report. Mousewood Radio? <laughs> Never heard of that. It must have something to do with sunspots. And juicy. Jerry! I'm okay, Mum. I won't eat them all. What? Jerry, I just want to remind you to pack your things for school tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do it. School. Huh. I'll take one for later. That's supposed to be good for your eyes. And an adventurer like me needs to see everything. Hmm. Strange. Footprints. A large animal must have run through the carrots under my window last night. I'd say it was a mysterious, long extinct mammal. The Gremlin Wolf. Ever since I became a junior member of the Jungle Explorers Club, my theories have sounded a lot more convincing. So much expertise for just 50 cents a month. Huh, sparrows used to live in that nest. Hmm, maybe we'll have eggs next spring. No marauding kids in sight, and also no sign of the gremlin wolf. <laughs> As usual, the coast is clear. My secret stash. Oh, I shudder to think what havoc my magical tools could cause in the hands of a lesser magician. The whole world would be in peril. What do we have here? Matches, firecrackers, and my gold coin. Let the adventure begin! Oh! Ah, better not leave it open. You never know. Don't want the gremlin wolf to pick up my son. Oh ho! Oh. Oh, ho! Oh. They look delicious! Blech. 
they're sour. Ugh. Why do red currants always trick me like that? Uh, it must be the bright red colour. Who dumps their trash here in the woods? Huh, unbelievable. Uh, I can't count the times I've got a splinter trying to climb it. Mum says people put up these little animal statues a long time ago to bring luck to hikers. I think there were more of them a couple of years ago. Mum says there used to be important trails to faraway places here, long before there were cars. Today, you can only get from here to our house and to the woods where the old path tree is. Uh, the town looks so grey again today. When I was young, there was nothing but fields here as far as you could see. No, but seriously, since they built the supermarket next to the school, it looks even worse down there. School, with only two days of summer vacation left. Then I'll be stuck down there in a classroom again. Now that's an even worse thought. Uh, although, that means there's still two days of adventure left. There are blackberries back there, but this brambly bush is in the way. Sometimes I think the statue looks greedy, other times I think it looks needy. I wonder why. The owl's wall. It goes all the way to the big tree in the woods. It's so quiet here, like your town is miles away. Hmm, one of my books says that mushrooms only grow in circles in special places, near entrances to the realm of the fairies. But it also says that fairies can be really, really unfriendly. Hmm, I'd rather not meet any. I'll take that. I heard there used to be an old trail here. Maybe that's why we call this a path tree. Anyway, this is now a dead end. I used to fish for tadpoles here. The water actually looks pretty clear, but sometimes it smells just awful. No other choice. Ah! No bush can stand between me and Mum's blackberry pie. A fatal mistake. They look like they can't wait to be picked. They go into the basket. They also look like they need picking. Good idea. Now it's off. They're screaming to be picked. Mum says there used to be important trails to... Today, you can only... Now I've got a whole basket full of raspberry... Blackberries. Mmm, this should earn me the first and biggest piece of blackberry pie. Mum! Yes! I got the blackberries for you. Thanks, sweetheart. In that case, you can have the first piece of the blackberry pie. Yay!
Wait a sec. Only the first piece. I'm the biggest, Jerry. And so the hazelnut family narrowly escapes a diplomatic incident. Something's in there. Whoa, holy cow. Oh, okay. Be brave. As long as it's not a gremlin wolf, there's nothing to be afraid of. I bet it's just a pesky raccoon. Very careful. What was that? The letter just flew into my pocket. A fine triangular letter? And there's no return address. Let's see what's inside. There's a weird symbol in the poem underneath it. How he made a carrot flame. After drawing on rock, a symbol all in white. Grinding white to powder makes it right. Then add black in turn. The kind you should be loath to burn. Black and white as they combine. The inside of your vessel line. Then three more things. Tree skin, tree fruit. And lastly but not least, a root. At the crossroads, draw a circle with the powder mix obtained. Put the vessel in the centre of the powder ring, thus gain. Set the circle bang on fire. The carrot flame leaps higher and higher, and I will swallow it in haste to enjoy the lovely taste. 